What's up you guys, Christian here. In this video, I wanna talk about how to eat healthy in college dining halls. So I used to actually go to UCLA and I actually dormed there, I was a transfer student. And so I basically know what it's like to eat in college dining halls. UCLA actually has the number one ranked dining halls and all that stuff, like they're the number one in food. And so it's pretty damn hard to eat healthy there, but it is possible. I'm going to show you some tips and tricks and what I've learned from the UCLA dining and all that stuff. And this should apply to other colleges, whether your school isn't number one or if it's just some just one dining hall. At UCLA, we had multiple. Some colleges only have one. So depending on that, I just have some few general tips and tricks on how you can eat healthier in college dining hall. So hope this video helps and let's get to it. So since you're watching this video, I'm assuming that you want to lose weight in college. So how to lose weight in college. And maybe you're just trying to eat a little bit healthier. You don't want to gain the freshman 15. Or maybe you already did gain the freshman 15 and you want to get rid of it. And make better eating decisions in your college dining halls. So one quick thing that I always used to do. Some of you may not have this option. But there was a healthy dining hall that we had at UCLA. It was called B plate and this this was kind of like an initiative to make students eat a little bit healthier so the plates were a lot smaller there were smaller portions and this was to make you eat less basically and i know a lot of colleges don't have that but if you do have that that is one option just go to eat at the quote unquote healthier dining hall but the tips and tricks are going to come from the overall like philosophy of b plate and how they try to make colleges or how to make their students eat healthier, which is smaller plates, smaller portions, and more stuff like that. So before we get into any of those tips is, in order to lose weight, you must be in a caloric deficit. It doesn't matter how healthy you eat, you can eat so much salad and broccoli and whatever, but if you are not eating fewer calories than you actually burn then you are not going to lose weight end of story period point blank you're not going to do any of that so make sure you are in a caloric deficit a quick way to do that is to multiply your body weight by 11 to 12 depending on how active you are if you're more active do 12 less active do 11 maybe even 10 but if you're in college you're probably active if you're not you should be go out there and have some fun walk to class do whatever but just to just making sure that you know that you must burn more calories than you consume to lose weight so no matter how healthy you eat no matter how much you follow these tips if you don't follow that rule none of this is going to work so make sure you do that first cool so the first tip is to just eat a ton of protein so if your college dining hall has multiple selections and just go to wherever the most protein is first that's where you want to go first don't go to the pizza or to the hamburgers whatever go to wherever you can get the most amount of protein so most dining halls is all you can eat you go you get your plate you go to wherever you get your food wherever there's the most protein chicken breast fish steak whatever get as much of that as you possibly can fit it on your plate because the more protein you eat, not only is that good for you, but the more full you'll actually feel because protein is the most filling macronutrient. And the more you eat protein, the more full you're going to eat or feel. And so if you if you see here on the screen, there was options to have fish or chicken. I got multiple plates of chicken. I asked for two of them. And you can do that, I think, in most dining halls, at least in dining halls at UCLA, you can ask for more portions. And so get as much protein first, like fill up your plate, however you do that. I'm not sure how other colleges are, but for right now, I'm just talking about UCLA and most colleges in general. From what I've heard, you just grab the plate, ask them what, whatever is there, and then you grab it. Cool. And if it's self-serving, just grab as many as you can of the protein. And then once you're done with that, go on to the next carb. So some carbs that you want to eat that aren't necessarily bad for you. You can do rice, sweet potatoes, potatoes, whatever. So make sure you have a lot of protein. So half the plate should be protein. If you have a big plate, half the plate should be protein. A quarter of that should be carbs.
carbs and the rest should be veggies. If half of your plate is protein, you're damn sure gonna be full if you eat all of that protein. So yeah, that's the first tip on how to eat healthier in college dining halls. The second tip is something from B plate. Just use a smaller plate. If you can only, if there's big plates and smaller plates, just grab a smaller plate, grab whatever you want, and but only until it fills that plate, if that makes sense. If it goes more than that plate, then it's too much food. And you can do that for whatever portions. I usually use that if it's like a quote unquote unhealthier food. So if it's like a, like a pizza or something, just grab a smaller plate. That's all you get. So, so far the first two tips are number one, eat as much protein, get as much protein on your plate as possible. It should be at least half or even more than half of your entire plate or however much food in general you have. Most of it should be coming from protein. The second tip is if possible, use smaller plates because in B plate at UCLA, they use smaller plates because they don't allow as much food on there and the smaller portions, once you finish more plates, kind of like a psychological thing, the smaller the plates, once you finish your plate, you're kind of like, okay, I'm done. And so that's why you should use smaller plates for smaller portions or smaller quantities of unhealthy food. So what you can also do is something called intermittent fasting, which is my third tip. Instead of eating right in the morning, instead of going to the dining hall, as soon as you wake up in the morning, don't do it. Just drink water, black coffee, sparkling water, fast for the four, first four to six hours. And if you first hear, if this is your first time hearing about intermittent fasting, I highly recommend you do some more research on it. I have a full post on my website, leanwithstyle.com, and it shows you how to do intermittent fasting, the benefits, and why you should do it. Um, I used to do that all the time as a college student. I would, I have, I had a coffee maker in my dorm room, and I would just drink that until about. I would drink that and only water until about 12 to 1 p.m. Then I would go to the college dining halls and eat so I can eat bigger meals instead of smaller meals throughout the day, leaving me more hungry. And again, you can find out all the information in my blog post, which I'll leave down below. And my last and final tip is don't snack while in college. So the only time you should be eating unless you're like an athlete or something like that and you have a lot of act if you're very active and you're doing a lot of things throughout the day you're in clubs you're in sports whatever don't don't be snacking all the time this is one of my biggest problems that i had when i first got there is i would have snacks all the time in my dorm room what you want to do is only eat during the dining halls time if that makes sense you can have snacks and stuff like that, maybe if it's late at night and you're studying and you haven't eaten that much because you've been studying all day. But what you want to do is when it's time to eat, eat only in the dining halls. So like once you're done eating in the dining halls, that's it. Don't don't have snacks in your dorm room. That's more of like just a how to eat healthier in general, not necessarily college, but only eat when you can at the dining halls. Hope that makes sense. So the, the four tips are eat more protein, Use a smaller plate if possible for just smaller portions in general or just smaller portions of quote unquote unhealthy foods. Three, try intermittent fasting so you can have bigger meals and they're more satisfying meals so you don't have to eat smaller portions, but uh, you can try intermittent fasting. I'll leave in the description the link to that post. And then lastly, don't eat outside of the dining halls if possible. So one last tip I forgot to talk about is to make sure to check your school's website to see if they have a nutritional information like website for your dining hall. So at UCLA, every dining hall has a nutrition calculator thing that you can do and plug it, plug in how many portions you had and it'll tell you like your macros and calories and stuff or it'll just be like a PDF that says how many calories each serving has and it'll show the menu for the day. So make sure to check that out if you have a if your if your school has it that will be really helpful so if you know your calories then you know how many portions of however much stuff you can have in your college dining hall so that's another tip that i forgot to mention and then a last and final tip just for college in general just be more active don't don't stay in your dorm room all day don't just go out when you have to eat be more active. The more active you are, whether it be sports, walking to class, activities, clubs, whatever, just be more active. The more active you are, you can burn more calories. The more calories you burn, the more you can eat. And plus, these are this is college. You're not going to be able to have this time later in life. So just be more active. And uh, that's my, so yeah, so those, those are my tips for this video, how to eat 
healthier in college dining halls. So if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video.